It's another edition of me learning something and hopefully not embarrassing myself as well. For this one-on-one -on -one with Allie, some Bennett Academy girls basketball players teach me how to shoot a free throw. Presented by BMO Harris Bank. Another edition of the one-on-one -on -one with Allie. I'm at Bennett Academy with a couple members of the Bennett Academy girls basketball team. They're going to show me how to shoot some free throws. First up, I'm with Allison Forney. So kind of just explain how you shake off pressure for the free throw. Obviously, the gym gets super quiet. What's kind of going through your head when you step up to the line? Um, I mean, I just, a lot of times I just pretend that I'm in the gym and just shooting a free throw in practice and just like a normal practice normal situation. If it's like really big, sometimes I just put my hands behind my head and just breathe. So let's say you just get called, you're walking up to the line, what is your process? So I catch the ball and I spin it and I dribble three times, spin it again, take a breath and shoot it. Okay, can you show it to me? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so is your foot on the green line on purpose or did that just kind of happen? I always, so when I was little, I, my mom taught me how to shoot free throws and she told me to look for the, there's like a little nail right there that uh -huh. shoots the middle of the basket. So I put my right foot right there and then I go out from there. So you're off from the middle then, yeah. you're not splitting. Okay. Yeah. Is that just because the way you shoot? That's it's just, just like, ever, ever since I've learned, I've always done that. So I might just, I don't know. This is the way you do it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it. So you get the ball, line here, right? Yes. It's spin. Yeah. Dribble, dribble. Do you stop when you, or is that right? Yeah, after okay. I spin it, I like go down and I wait just a second and then I shoot it. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, oh it was so close. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna say that your process doesn't work for me, maybe one of the others <laughs> yeah. too, you know, a different process, but thank you for showing me yeah, yours. Thank you. Next up, I've got Ashley Berry. So what are kind of your tips to making a free throw? Um, I mean, kind of just like cleaning your head and then focusing on the front of the rim and just having confidence that it's gonna go in. The front of the rim. So I'm not looking at like the net or anything, it's the I front mean, of the rim? Personally, I look at the front. Is it different for everybody? I mean, I think most people look at the front. Interesting, okay, didn't know that. Learning something new, so can you show me your process? So mine's pretty simple. I kind of just, I walk up and like Allison, I find the nail and I just put my right foot on it and then take one dribble and I just bend my knees and then I just shoot it. Oh, you're simple, okay. So when you just did that, you had one foot behind the other. I kind of, yeah, I kind of just like line up like this. Interesting, just, is that just the way you learned? That's just, yeah, that's just how I've always shot. Perfect, you want to show me a real? All the way through. So I just grab the ball, line my foot up, take my dribble. Oh, and you jump. See, now when I taught, was taught a long time ago, it was never leave the ground. I usually just like kind of go up onto my toes. Okay. okay. Nope, that one's offline. Oh, oh, yes! All right, so so far, yeah. 0 for 1, but it's yours that works for me. Yeah. Perfect. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Last but certainly not least, I'm with Lexi Moriarty. Lexi, we talked about kind of shaking off that pressure. Do you have a situation recently where you had to make these free throws? Yeah, we were playing for third place in the Montini tournament against Montini, and they've always been big rivals. And we were in overtime, and I got fouled driving, and we were in double bonus. And we were only up by one, so I knew I had to make both so we could go up by three. So I just took a deep breath, and I was able to hit both. Nicely done. That's the success story, right? What is your process? So say we're in the Montini game, you just got called. What do you do when you step up to the line? So I come up to the line, I look at the rim, then I take a deep breath, spin the ball, bounce twice, spin it again, and then I shoot it. So you line up I, like crooked. Yeah, because yeah. I was taught to like go straight. Interesting. Okay. And you're kind of splitting the middle, but your foot's closer to... The right foot's closer to the green line. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Weird. Okay, so go ahead, do the whole thing, and then actually shoot. Now I'm feeling confident. Or maybe I just needed to warm up that too. Wow. All right. I feel confident. I'm just going to call it at that. All right, well, thank you, you three, for teaching me each one of your individual free throw stuff, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Thank you.